every writer has experienced rejection at some time or another. You have to hold fast to the dream that you have something to say and that you will find a way to say it in a way that people will want to read. I think the thing to do is when you get a knockback is to return to the, the, the arena where you learned how to write and that is to read. So go back and read other people's work, read the writers you admire, unpick what they've done and see what they've done right and learn those lessons and go back to your manuscript and see how you can apply them to what you've written. Nothing is perfect the first time. I've just written my 31st novel and for me the most exciting moment is when I get my notes back from my editor after she's read it for the first time and she's, well, she's actually probably read it three times in a row over a weekend uh, and she comes back to me with the things that she doesn't think are working. And generally they are things that deep down if I'm honest with myself I know I'm not, I'm not working. Nobody wants to send out a half-finished thing into the world. We all want the book to be the best thing it can be. And I'll tell you this, your first draft is never ever going to be the best it can be. There are always people who can help you make it better. And how you grow as a writer is to listen to those people and learn the lessons from them. Writing is essentially a, a solitary profession. Uh, when you're writing fiction and writing poetry. And it's quite challenging sometimes, the thought of showing somebody else your precious baby when you've buffed it to the point where you think you've done the best you can do and you now have to give it to somebody else for a verdict. Uh, it's no use giving it to your, your family and your friends and your loved ones unless they also happen to be literary critics because they love you and they'll tell you it's wonderful no matter how bad it is. What you need is to find a first reader who will be honest with you in a, in a gentle way, not a savage way, but who will point out to you the things that don't work and maybe help you to figure out a way to make them work. Uh, overcoming that fear really is the only way you're ever going to put the book into other people's hands. And ultimately we're all doing this because we want people to read our work. We don't want to hit them away. So you have to overcome that fear and find somebody that you can trust.